welcome back um my name is kerry welcome to sociology this is my channel um first i just want to start by um thanking the baker that sews for um promoting my channel that was very nice of you thank you so much that means a lot and thank you for all the wonderful over 100 subscribers i am i'm so i don't i'm so like i don't know what to say um i'm really pleased thank you not the numbers matter but it just means a lot to think that someone is actually watching what you're doing so that's really great thank you so much um i hope you're enjoying this video um i've got my notes here because i just can't remember what i'm saying so you might see i actually got round to um making the toronto tea from Rebecca Page and the original one I did was um, the biggest size 5XA it was way too big um, I'll put some pictures up here somewhere just to show you what that looked like um, this is the adapted version so um, it's a lot better now it fits a lot better I'm quite happy with it I mean I like it really long so mine's a bit long and I'll put pictures up of me um, in it too um, the pattern instructions are so easy to follow um really easy simple good good um yeah good um instructions to follow so if you're a beginner and you're getting used to stretch fabric i use an overlocker which i uh, find is easier to sew stretchy fabrics um haven't quite got the hang of sewing stretchy fabrics on the sewing machine yet um yeah definitely use a overlock if you have one that's really good um yeah really easy no issues um so this is just to remind you i did talk about it in my other vlog um i'll put the sizes up again just uh, just to remind people um if you haven't seen my first was it first or second vlog i talked about it i don't remember <laughs> um yeah so that's the other one uh the other thing i wanted to talk about um i didn't have any issues with this by the way just apart from the size was massive lots of ease um i always go for the biggest size because i'm never quite confident that it's going to fit me so i always go with the biggest size um uh, because you know i am currently losing weight but um you know <laughs> you've got to start making things a big just fit you, you know. You don't want to. You don't want to spend all that time making something that doesn't fit you. That, that I do that a lot, and it's very disheartening because you spend all this time making it, and then it doesn't fit you. So um, I always go for the biggest size, and then I can just scale down, which is what I did. So I'll just, I'll show pictures of what it looked like before my mock-up twirl was just in a navy. So I'll show you that. I'll put that up there. Um, what else have I been doing? Um, my fabric arrived from eBay today, the one I'm making, the Whitney Rain jacket. It's gorgeous. came with this Marimekko bag, free, because it's Marimekko fabric. And this is the fabric. So it's like, um, it's a, they call, she, it was down as a laminated polyester, but um, it's, that's just the underside of it. And it's just, it's, very crinkly, sorry. This is it here. See that gorgeous pattern there. Beautiful. 5.6 meters. So that will become my Whitney Way. My Whitney Rain jacket. Um, so you can't fold it back up now. Look how much there is of it. It's great. I can't wait. Um, I'm definitely going to do a mock-up first. I'm not going straight into um, uh, making that straight away. No. So that's my uh, Marimekko fabric. Um, what else have I been doing? Um, I did mean to get my uh, tunic finished. I still haven't finished it. Uh, all I have to do is the sleeve and um, the hems and that's it. So it's in the same state as vlog three. So nothing's changed. There's no point in showing you. Um, I will get it finished though, because I got distracted by the t-shirt because I've got bored and I wanted to make something else. Um, something else I got really bored with as well was, um, <laughs> funny, I've got on my notes to show finished tunic, but it's not finished. Okay. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh, two new challenges I'm really excited about. 
So the first one is um, A Gift to November, which is run by So Like Dotty and uh, I say Zara, I can't remember. I'll put the name up here. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. I'm really sorry. Please don't hate me. Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> um, anyway, the gift to November. It's ma majority. What is that even a word? It's mostly UK. So the prizes are really good, but a lot of the prizes are UK based because of obviously postage restrictions to send abroad. I understand that. So my plans for gift for November. Um, I've been, I made this uh, another Rebecca Page pattern called the Roxy wristlet. So it's just got this um, little <laughs> wristlet with a little um, chain and um, clasp here. And then um, it's fully lined, it has a zip at the top, it's lined inside and it has an extra pocket here. Okay. So this is a fabric left over from the Sew Up Cycle shirt. Um, so I use that and this is an Arita Hansen fabric that was left over from a dress I made that no longer fits me. Um, yeah, so and it's got some little cover ends at the zips here either side and um, the same here uh, it's quite a nice little project to make I uh, have done a sew along and if it works out if it makes sense I will put that up another time but um, yes yeah, so that's a really nice one and that's a free pattern I think it's a free pattern I'll check that um, from Rebecca Page patterns same as the Toronto D okay and the other things I was thinking of doing um, I buy Molly Makes which is a British magazine if you're in Australia but um, you used to be able to get it here from Coles supermarket but I can't seem to find it anymore I don't know if they do it anymore and they all have the also usually have these free little gift patterns that you can make and I've had these for a while and I really wouldn't mind having a go I really like um, hand sewing felt um, I think I showed you all my um, Christmas tree decorations in the first vlog I think so um, that's just another little one to do it's uh, yeah it, it came free with the magazine but um, yeah, I was thinking of doing that um, also my daughter really likes this this is from the a shop in Australia called Kmart. This is the Anko brand and she loves dogs. So I was going to do a little cross stitch doggy. Um, I checked with So Like Dotty first to make sure that cross stitch was allowed. She said it's sewing, so that's great. So hand sewing or um, hand sewing or um, machine sewing is acceptable. And then I got this from Aldi. And this is another cross stitch. So there's another cross stitch kit I might do and gift. So I've got two cross stitches to do here. And I've got my Roxy wristlet, which I've already got in mind someone for this. And I might make another one for someone else. Um, and then there's this little thing. Um, and I can make think of some more things. Um, but I'm, I'm going to look forward to watching all your videos. So all the people... Uh, there's lots of YouTubers doing um, daily vlogs throughout November for this uh, challenge. So um, if I find a list, I'll put them up here. You can follow them. Um, let me just read my notes. Um, apologies, Adam from Adam Sews. You're the other YouTuber that is running this competition. I'm so sorry. I forgot your name. Um, so... Yeah, the only rule is that it's some sort of sewing machine or hand sewing. And uh, just like the sew-up cycle, if you want to share what you've been doing up until the reveal, then it's the hashtag, a gift to remember, a gift to November, sorry, WIP, work in progress. And um, that needs to be up on Instagram from by, for the 30th of November. Um, post with the hashtag uh, gift to November and each word has a capital letter so just remember that because I know from the sew up cycle um, I think it was Roanne from the Yorkshire Sew Girl 
put her, um, a couple of letters in her sew-up cycle and it didn't get over to the main hashtag group. So uh, yes, so make sure that your hashtag letters are right. Um, I think that's it for gift to remember. November, November, it's a play on words. <laughs> so, okay, I'm, I'm looking really pink at the minute. It's starting to warm up in Australia. It's so hot in this room. Uh, this is like the hottest room in the house. We're in summer, so I'm gonna need to get the fan going when I get sewing properly. Um, that's just why I've got my uh, Toronto tea on. Anyway, um, okay, so the other challenge that I've been looking at is um, hashtag so wrapped. And um, this is run by Kristen, Kirsten, no, Kirsten from the um, Dahlia Society and Gabrielle from Cloth Edit. And this challenge runs from 29th of October to the 27th of November, um, Australian Eastern time. Um, if I can convert the times, I'll put that on the screen for UK. Um, the winners and then are going to be announced via their YouTube channels on the 30th of November. And um, so the the actual competition or challenge is to sew a wrap garment, knitted or woven. Uh, you can use any pattern or even draft your own, a commercial one or draft your own pattern. Um, the only stipulation is it must have a wrap closure and, and adult garments only. Uh, when you um, hashtag the, your product again you can do hashtag so wrapped wip for work in progress but on the 30th of sorry the 27th of november it will be the hashtag so wrapped and um the stipulation is also that you don't tag old posts so no post prior to the 29th of october i think that's right um they must be new makes newish makes um, so I'll show you what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking of um, this lovely Butterick um, dress. It does have a, a, a kind of wrap over enclosure here, which I quite like. Um, so it does have a wrap. Um, I'm probably more likely to wear it. Um, there are different views on the back so you can have it um sleeveless um not sure the difference is with that one. Oh, this is just a bit longer and and then just with these nice flary sleeves here that you can see the model wearing here which is quite nice i quite like this length but with these sleeves because i don't really like having my arms out because you know bingo -ing. Uh, so yeah I quite like this it's a really nice pattern and it goes up to a 22 and this was a free pattern from Love Sewing Magazine so I've got to use the patterns you get I've got hundreds of them now um yeah so this is just another pattern I'm looking at I'm getting redder and redder uh yeah so this is sorry this is Butterick B6446 and yeah, I'm going to have a go at that for that challenge. I um, haven't thought what fabric I'm going to use yet, but it might be a kind of either cotton based or maybe a viscose kind of base. I'm not sure yet. Uh, let me know what you think would be nice for that. Let's have a look what it suggests. So the fabrics it suggests cotton blends, linen, chalice, gingham, gingham would be very nice, satin, oof, no, unsuitable for obvious diagonals. So um, yeah, uh, I love gingham at the minute, so I might find some gingham and do that. So that would be nice. So um, that is what I'm doing so far. I'm looking at my notes. Is there anything else to say? No, I've spoken about the Toronto tea, um, gift to November, so wrapped, um, my 
beautiful fabric from eBay and the tunic is not finished. Actually, I just had another look at it and um, I've lost the actual band that goes on the other side. So if I can't find it, I'm going to have to find that fabric and in my scraps and see if I can cut another one and sew it on because it looks silly on with just one done and um, I don't like it without it looks weird so um, yeah so I'm gonna have to look for that and that'll be up in the next one or maybe it'll be an add-on to this video if I find it and finish it by the time this gets edited and sent out so uh, yeah so that's what I've been up to so far I'm sure I've missed something out um, and thank you so much again to everyone who have subscribed. I am so over the moon, over the moon. Um, didn't really expect to get a 50, let alone 100. So, yeah, so thank you so much for your support. And thank you to a baker that sews once again for um, giving a shout out to my channel. And also to uh, Andy that sews. I think it's Andy that sews. She's called Andy and she also the baker that sews also gave a shout out to her. So um, yeah, it's a really nice community to uh, promote each other. It's really nice. So uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you've had time to sew and I hope you get involved in these challenges. I'm not an official vlogger. I just like to I just like to piggyback on everything and have a go. So um and also doing these challenges actually makes me sew something because now I've got a setup. Um I always have the excuse, I don't have time to sew, I don't have time to sew, but now I've got my um, room set up, I've got no excuse, my sewing machine and my overlocker are right there waiting to do something, and yeah, I've got no excuse, so yeah, so um, that's it, um, appreciate all your comments you put down below, thank you for commenting, liking and subscribing, and, sh and please feel free to share. And uh, till the next one, happy sewing and happy challenge. And I'll look forward again to seeing all the Instagram WIPs. Thank you. Bye.